Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. And this particular episode, we're going to look at the canvas itself and how it gets used and created and manipulated within Vermilion. Now with a canvas you've already got, you can change the size while you're working with it. So you can make it large, so you can do fine details, or you can make it small, so you can cover a large area very quickly. So the canvas itself is still flexible while you're working with it. You can't change proportions, but you can change size. Now, you set the size when you first create the new canvas. So what we'll do now is we're going to switch to the headset view so we can show you in the settings where creating a new canvas is and how you can control the size. Then we'll come back to the headset to the main view and, and play around with it. So, ready? Here we go. Switching to headset view. So here we are in headset view looking at our canvas. So we have this marker up in the corner we can use to make the canvas itself bigger and smaller. It's going to keep the same proportion, but this way we can make it small and then get good coverage and quickly cover the whole page. Or we could make it very big so we could grab a fine brush and do a lot of little details. So when we go back to the normal size, those details become very fine. So canvas size is controlled by that handle and can be done on the fly. Now when you create a new canvas, in our settings, under the floppy disk, that uh, is an extinct creature called a floppy disk. They used to roam offices by the thousands, but now they're completely extinct. But we're still going to use that same button to represent new files. Start new painting is where we create a new canvas. Okay, so now our canvas, it shows in inches how big it is right now. So as we grab it, we can change width and height, and it's going to tell us in inches how big roughly that canvas is. So the widest versus the tallest versus the biggest square. Once you've got the size you like, we have that green check mark in the center. Touch the check mark. It's got that counter, countdown, so you can change your mind if you want to go for different shapes and sizes until you find the one you like, then let it complete. Now the canvas will still change size, but no longer change proportion. So it gives you the inches in case you're intending to print it for frame, or we can choose any proportion we want. Now that it's created, we are locked in. So start new painting is how we create a new canvas. Set it to whatever specific size. So I want to do a 18 by 24. Lock it in and we're off in painting. Let's go back to headset mode and finish up. So that's the general gist of the canvas itself. Set it to whatever proportions you want. Any size can change on the fly. And then when you save or export it, you can choose what your final output is going to be. But the canvas itself, fairly straightforward as far as setting it up. You can't change the color or the tooth of the canvas, mostly just the proportions when you're starting it off. Even the size is flexible while you're working with it. That's about it for the canvas in the program Vermilion. Let us know if you have questions in the comments below. Let us know if you have any requests for any other lessons. We'll be back next time with some more interesting tricks and tools in Vermilion. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have fun.